This is how AFK fishing is supposed to work. You hold right click and aim at the note block and it fishes all by itself. And this is what auto fishing looks like on the EchoCraft server. It's very broken and it can destroy my rod. Not being able to use AFK phishing was super frustrating for me. I assume it's caused because the EchoCraft server is hosted in Europe and I live on the west coast of the United States. And even if I manage to get the phishing started and just hold right click, then the next time an actual fish is caught, it keeps doing this. So that's pretty bad. But if I click roughly every second, like that seems to work manually. But the point of AFK fishing is not for me to stand here and manually right click once every second. I should be able to walk away from my machine. So instead, what I've done is that I've modified Exizuma's tool for AFK phishing. When you look at the code I've changed, you can see that it's really not that complicated. So this is the section of code that gets called when you're actively phishing. In here, I just changed the first sleep from 100 milliseconds to a second and a half, and the second sleep from 500 milliseconds down to 20 milliseconds. And that's all I did. That's the entire extent of my change. As far as I understand what this does is that instead of having long right clicks with short breaks between them, you now have very short right clicks with long breaks between them. And thanks to the modified AFK fishing tool, I'm now able to use my AFK fish farm just fine. So right now it should be right clicking roughly every one and a half seconds. And I can walk away and AFK fish all night and come back to a whole bunch of loot. And it's amazing. Happy fishing, everybody. Some of you who are hitting similar problems might be wondering how you can get your hands on a version of this tool. I feel like the changes I made are very crude and they're not good enough for general consumption. So I don't plan on releasing my own copy of the tool, but I will give you the steps you need to compile your own version of the tool, which also means that if my settings wouldn't work for you, you can tweak the source code so it works for you. I hope that will work okay for everybody. To find the source code for the AFK phishing tool, I went to Exizuma's AFK phishing page, scroll down until I found the GitHub link, clicked on that, and voila. You can clone it or download it or do whatever you need to do to start editing the code. Changing a code by itself is not the tricky part I found. I was able to just edit this file in Notepad and it was very straightforward. And the auto hockey documentation was good enough that I could figure out what the different lines of code meant. But when it came to compiling, that's where the big pain for me started. It took me a very long time to find a version of the auto hockey compiler that actually worked on my machine and compiled the script successfully. And I guess this is where I should be making a public service announcement. As with anything you might download from the internet, please be careful. The auto hotkey version I downloaded from the official auto hotkey website came with malware. Windows complained about it. I'm assuming somebody hacked auto hotkey's deployment process and snuck some bad stuff in there. So if you're not sure about downloading any of this stuff, just don't do it. It's not worth it. Fortunately, after lots of dinking around, I finally found a pull request up here. And this pull request has added documentation in README which sounded fantastic. More documentation is always awesome. And if I switched to the commit and looked at the contents of this file, I noticed at the very bottom that it had this handy dandy GitHub link for auto hockey. And I figured, please, oh please, let it have a download link of some sort. And once I went to the auto hockey underscore L repository, I noticed that there was a bunch of releases. Let me scroll down some more. To install it, you basically just click on this guy and eventually it should download, double click and hit express installation and then just exit out of here. You do not have to run auto hockey. It's a feature that you don't need if you're just trying to compile Exizuma's AFK phishing tool. So just hit exit and you're done with installing it. So next you want to find the compiler and that's not particularly straightforward. You have to go to program files, auto hockey, compiler, and then in here you find this really weirdly named exe. So you just double click that and this pops up. So here you uh, select the script that you want to compile. 
And then you decide what name you want to give the exe file. I'm just going to call it, say, La Custom and hit save. You don't have to give it a custom icon or anything like that. The rest of the settings can just stay the way they are. Then you click convert and hopefully you get a success message like the one I just got. If you switch to the directory that has the script in it, you should find this exe file. And if I double click it, this wonderful tool pops up by Exizuma. And then you follow the instructions on screen just as usual to make AFK phishing work. One thing to note though, is that uh, if you want to copy this exe someplace else, you have to copy this PNG file along with it. So if I rename this to something else and then double click the exe again, you can see that it can't find the picture and you have absolutely no idea what you're supposed to do in this program. So it's a really good idea to keep the PNG file around. And I assume you should keep the license file around with it too. And that's it. That's how you make your own version of Exizuma's auto phishing tool. I hope at least some of you found this video useful and that you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please leave a like. I'd love to hear any and all of your feedback down in the comments section below. If this video helps at least one person, that would be amazing. If you're interested in my other videos, uh, please remember to subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.